understanding Turing machines and multi-track Turing machines. Welcome to our exploration of Turing machines and the fascinating world of computation. Today, we'll dive into the concept of Turing machines, explore the idea of multi-track Turing machines and even design one to solve a specific problem. Turing machine Meet Alan Turing, the brilliant mind behind the concept of Turing machines. In the 1930s, Turing laid the theoretical foundation for modern computers with his idea of machine that could simulate any conceivable computation. A Turing machine consists of an infinite tape, a read or write head, and a set of rules. The head reads and writes symbols on the tape based on these rules, simulating the logic of computation. Designing a Turing machine for prime numbers. Now let us put a Turing machine to test. Our challenge is to design a Turing machine which checks whether a number is prime or not. In a multi-track Turing machine, multiple tracks are used to represent different aspects. One of the tracks will hold the number to be checked and the other tracks will be used for intermediate calculations and decision making. To design a multi-track Turing machine to check whether a given number is prime or not. Step 1. Place n in T1. Step 2. T2 is equal to 2. Step 3. T3 is equal to T1 modulo T2. Step 4. T2 is equal to T1 plus 1. Step 5. Repeat 3 and 4 until T2 is equal to T1 minus 1. If T3 is equal to 0, then it is not a prime number, else it is a prime number. To know whether 5 is a prime number or not, we are using a multi-track Turing machine. In this Turing machine, we are going to use 3 tracks, that is T1, T2 and T3. In T1, we are going to place 5. In T2, we are going to place 2. And in T3, we are going to take the remainder of 5 divided by 2, which is 1. Then, we are going to repeat this process until T2 is T2 minus 1, which is 5 minus 1 is 4. Now, here the process repeats 2 times, that is for T2 equal to 3 and T2 equal to 4. Because after T2 is 4, then it becomes 5, which, is, which does not satisfy the condition T2 is equal to T1 minus 1. Here, 5 modulo 3 is 2 and 5 modulo 4 is 1, which says T3 is not equal to 0 in any of the cell. Therefore, 5 is a prime number. Congratulations, you have just witnessed the power of Turing machine and the versatility of multi-track Turing machine, the ability to solve complex problems such as determining the prime numbers, showcase the incredible potential of the computational models. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of Turing machines. Just say, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of computation. This video was made by Aditya, Ishan, Yusuf, Karthik and Akshay.